In this lecture, we will discuss about equilibrium points, stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium and all the previous questions. Okay, so this lecture is entirely about uh, stability analysis. So, as a fundamental, uh, you have to know some idea of a slope. Okay, then I can develop some uh, logical ideas. So, you can easily use this concept to identify uh, these problems, identify these uh, stable and unstable equilibrium conditions. Okay, so what is a slope? So, when uh, I'm graphically, I will discuss this concept so this is a, a coordinate system here it is a coordinate is x and this is v of x okay and the, if this is a uh, variation of so as x increases v of x varies like this okay here, uh, what is the slope? That means, if uh, these are the two positions, x1 and this is another position, x2. Now, what is the slope? So, to find out the slope, I have to take, extend this point and I have to extend this point. And extend this coordinates to, this points to V of x coordinate. Okay. Like this. So, uh, here I get a, a, a triangle and in this triangle this length is equal to delta V and this length is equal to delta X. Then slope is defined as equal to delta V by delta X. That is slope means how much of V is varying with respect to x so here uh, you get this uh, delta v delta v means this is the uh, v2 this is v1 and the, this is v2 that is v2 minus minus v1 that is this is the final position this is the initial position so final position minus initial that is v2 minus v1 by x2 minus x1 so v2 is greater than v1 and x2 is greater than x1 so this is positive he this po slope is positive now i am taking another point another condition here this is the variation of v of x with respect to x that is v of x is constant with respect to x so what is the slope here so here's the slope is delta v by delta x and what is the delta v here you can see there is a delta x when we are considering this uh, x1 and x2 here there is x1 and x2 so there is a delta x and there is no delta y that is delta y equal to 0 so this is 0 by delta x that is final position minus initial position that is x2 minus x1 so x2 is positive x1 is sorry x2 is bigger than x1 so this is anyway <laughs> this is equal to zero <laughs> when you of these things okay now another condition now a v of x is uh, varying like this okay so uh, now taking these points, these are the x1 and x2 positions. So here uh, delta x is this one, x and uh, delta y is this one. Now what is this slope here? That is delta v by delta that is equal to 
final minus initial so final x sorry final v final v is this one okay this is the v final v and this is the initial v okay v initial here vf minus vi by xf minus sorry xf minus xi that is vf is less than vi so and uh, uh, vxf is greater than xi so this quantity will be less than zero is equal to negative quantity that is this is will be so this quantity will be uh, slope will be uh, negative and here slope is zero and here slope is positive okay So, uh, for a positive slope, uh, V of x is increasing with respect to x. So, this is how positive slope. And here, uh, V of x is not changing with respect to, it is not increasing or it is not decreasing with respect to x. So, slope is 0. And here, V of x is decreasing with respect to increasing x. So, slope is negative. So, these ideas will help you to find, uh, to uh, understand this idea of stable and unstable equilibrium conditions.